Welcome to York University's Faculty of Environmental Studies, or FES for short. My name is Paul, I'm a student in the faculty, and today Arminda and I are going to walk you through your program checklist. Hi everyone, I'm Arminda and I'm a student in the Bachelor in Environmental Studies, or BS program. The program checklist is a tool to help you organize your courses for enrollment and track your progress during your academic career. Submitting it to the program advisor is one of the requirements for enrolling in courses in the next academic year. In this video, we discuss the checklist for BES students with environmental management as their area of concentration. We'll go over what an area of concentration is in a moment. The management checklist is separate from the other areas of concentration as there are slightly different courses that must be completed for this program. One quick note. If you're unsure of the third or fourth year courses you'll want to take, don't worry. Just fill out the checklist completely knowing that your upper year course choices may change, depending on your interests and area of concentration. Every year in February or March, you are invited to a mandatory advising session. During that time, next year's course timetable is posted online so that you can research and review course options for the next academic year. The latest undergraduate handbook is also published on the FVS website at that time. The handbook will have the most up-to-date version of the checklist, so you should always use the newest undergraduate handbook and checklist as your guide for the year. Between mid-March and mid-May, you'll need to submit your completed checklist to the BES Program Advisor, located in the Office of Student and Academic Services, or OSAS for short, in the HNES Building, Room 137. Once the form has been reviewed, and approved by the program advisor, you may be able to enroll in courses when registration access becomes available. Access dates begin in early June. You can log into your Passport York account to look up your personal registration access date. The first checklist you'll be required to complete will take place in first year. At that point, you need to decide on two things. Number one, the area of concentration, or AOC, that you wish to follow in the remainder of your program. And number two, a second area of concentration, should your interest change during your studies. This choice will be based on your personal interests, and it will determine which checklist you'll follow and which courses you'll take later in the program. You can choose from environment and culture, environmental management, environmental politics, and urban and regional environments. Descriptions of each area of concentration are listed in further detail in the latest undergraduate handbook. If you choose environmental management as your area of concentration, the rest of this video applies to you. If you choose a different area of concentration, switch to the other checklist video, which will cover your area of concentration. There are two degree options in the standard BES program. The BES Honors Degree, which is made up of 120 credits, typically completed in four years of study, and the BES Degree, which is made up of 90 credits, typically completed in three years of study. Both degrees have the same first year of course requirements. However, there are separate checklists for the 120 credit program and the 90 credit program, so make sure you fill out the right one. In this video, I'll cover the 120 credit checklist. And I'll be covering the 90 credit checklist and the parts that are the same for both. Each year, once final marks are in, you should check your academic standing in Passport York to make sure your grades allow you to continue in your 120 or 90 credit program. If you have questions about grades, check the undergraduate handbook for more information. All environmental management students in the 120 or 90 credit program take the same courses in their second year. ENVS 2400, Foundations of Environmental Management, ENVS 2410, Science of Pollution, ENVS 2420, Ecology and Conservation, and ENVS 2009, Quantitative Methods. You will also take the course which corresponds to your backup area of concentration. The rest of the credits can be your free electives or out-of-faculty courses. 
Once you have the proper checklist selected, the first step is to fill out your name and student number. In the email section, list an email address that you check often. If there is a problem with your checklist, your advisor will contact you, likely by email, to address the issue. Please keep in mind that errors may delay your course enrollment access. Three columns run along the right side of the checklist. The first column is labeled Total, showing the total credits needed for a specific requirement. If you are currently taking the course or have passed it already, you will fill out the completed in progress column with the number of credits completed. If you still need to take the course, you will fill out the to do column. The amount of credits in each column should add up to the total amount indicated for each section. In the example provided, 12 credits are listed in the completed column and another 12 in the to do column, which adds up to 24 credits. This matches the total column on the left. Each section will follow the same format. With this general concept in mind, filling out the checklist is a lot easier. This slide shows the area of concentration section, which is the same in both the 120 and 90 credit programs. The Management and Foundations course is a requirement for those in the Management area of concentration, so you just need to mark a 6 under the appropriate column completed, in progress, or to do. The six in this case refers to the number of credits for that particular course. For your backup area of concentration, you need to choose from the three remaining foundations courses. Number one, EMVS 2100 for Environment and Culture. Number two, EMVS 2200, Urban and Regional Environments. Or number three, EMVS 2300 for Environmental Politics. Once you've chosen the Backup Foundations course, mark the course code under Second Foundations Course and record the credits under the appropriate column Completed, In Progress, or To Do. The next section we need to fill out is General Education Requirements, which are again the same for both the 120 and 90 credit programs. Your science requirement is ENVS 1500 Intro to Science of Environmental Studies. If you have completed this course, put a 6 under the completed in progress section. Otherwise, put a 6 under to do. For alternative course options in the general education section, please review the list in the latest undergraduate handbook. You will also need to complete 6 credits in humanities. This requirement can be completed by taking EMVS 1800, Environmental Writing, or 6 credits from the humanities list in the latest undergraduate handbook. In either case, put a 6 on the appropriate to do or completed column. You can now jump to the top of the page, Program Core Requirements. Shown here is the 120 credit checklist. The courses listed here are all required to complete your degree. Go through each row and mark which courses you've completed or are in progress, along with the courses left to do. You'll mark the proper credit value, a 3 or 6, in the appropriate column. In this section, you'll also need to decide if you will be doing a thesis in your fourth year. If you wish to do a thesis, you will need to take ENVS 3011, Intro to Senior Honors Work, in your third year. Check off the ENVS 3011 box and mark the three credits in the proper column. If you do not wish to complete a thesis, you will select the course-based option course from your AOC, in this case, Environmental Management. Courses in Environmental Management are listed in the Undergraduate Student Handbook. Select a course from that list in the 3000 level and record it in the course-based option section, along with the credits in the proper column. This slide shows the program core requirements for the 90 credit checklist. Indicate in the proper column a 3 or a 6 credit value for which courses you have completed or have in progress and which courses that you still have left to do. The next section is faculty requirements. This slide shows the 120 credit checklist. For this section you must complete a total of 27 credits of ENVS courses at the 3000 and 4000 level 
from the management area of concentration. When filling out this section, list the course codes instead of the full course names. You also need to indicate again whether you will complete a thesis in your fourth year. If you are going to do a thesis, check off the ENVS 4000 option and place a 6 under To Do column. If you are not taking the thesis route, select 6 credits of course-based option courses at the 4000 level. These courses are always selected from your AOC, in this case, Management. This slide shows the faculty requirements for the 90 credit checklist. For this section, you need to list 24 credits of ENVS courses at the 3000 or 4000 levels. 12 of these credits must be taken from the management area of concentration, as the example here shows. The remainder of the courses must be EMVS courses at the 3000 or 4000 level from any area of concentration. Make sure you only list the course codes and not the full course names, as well as the credit values for each, again the appropriate completed or to do columns. In the out of faculty requirements section, Write down what you wish to take or have already completed of courses offered outside of the Faculty of Environmental Studies. The 120 credit checklist requires 24 out of faculty credits and the 90 credit checklist requires 12 credits. Fill out the course codes and indicate the credits. Please note that these courses must be offered outside of the Faculty of Environmental Studies. You can now move on to the final section of the checklist, free electives. In the free elective section, indicate which courses you plan on completing or have already completed, along with their credit value. Free elective courses can come from other faculties as well as from FES. 21 credits of free electives are taken in the 120 credit program, while 6 credits are taken in the 90 credit program. Please note that for the 120 credit program, three credits must be completed at the 4000 level from any faculty, including FES. Once you've gone through all of the sections in the checklist, total the columns and submit the completed form to your advisor. You're now done. We've gone through the entire checklist. I hope you found this video helpful. Completing the program checklist helps you stay on track in the BES program, so please make sure you follow the guidelines and submit it for approval by the mid-May deadlines. So thanks for watching the video. We wish you the best of luck during this year.